Hi, my name's Kirsty and I'm a forest school leader for the Grow Your Road project. And today I'm going to show you how to make um, some garden bunting or a garden banner, like the one that I've got behind me. That's my forest school banner or the bunting on this side. Um, the things that you're going to need today are some fabric. So you want to use something that's quite a light colour white is perfect um, but you could use a light yellow or a pastel colour um, I've used like an, uh, an old sheet bottom sheet or you could use a pillowcase something like that that you're not using anymore you're also going to need to collect some items from your garden um, that will give colour to the fabric so I've collected some leaves some petals I've got some more things inside here which I'll show you in a minute and you will also need some twine, garden twine, or some yarn of the colour of your choice. I'm going to use garden twine because I think that looks nice and natural, and nice outdoor sort of colour. The tools that you're going to need is a hammer or a mallet, um, and you'll need a hard surface to do your pounding on. Okay, so I've got a, a log here, but you might have bit of pathway or something like that or some concrete outside your house or paving slab outside um, to do that on so just to be safe anything that you pick please don't eat things that you've picked um, and also when you've finished picking lots of things from outdoors make sure you wash your hands when you're using your hammer don't be raising your hammer above your your head enthusiastically or have it behind you swing it around you make sure you've got plenty of room and also be careful when you're hammering that you don't hammer your own fingers because that's going to hurt so do be careful with that so once you've collected some things you can then place them on your hard surface so I'm going to look in my bag of treasures and I'm going to take out this beautiful leaf my Japanese maple and I've cut out some triangular bits so I'm going to do some bunting so that's just very roughly cut doesn't have to be massively neat unless you really want it to be so you press that over the top get your hammer mind your hands out of the way and then just tap so you can see I don't need to do massive huge hammering I'm just doing little taps gently and you can see the imprint of that beautiful leaf is coming through now I have, I've done this a few times and this this particular leaf does work really well but you'll find that you test out different kinds of leaves and different kinds of petals and some will work better than others so you just keep going there you need it to be a little bit more around this side and when you're happy with that, you just peel it away and you've got your imprint there. Okay, so you can take as long as you like on that and be as, as um, detailed as you want to be. I'm just going to rub that off that surface now and I'm going to choose something else to go on this piece of bunting. So what have I got in here? I'm going to try this little red flower that I found in my garden. It's quite a nice strong colour. I'm going to put it there, put that at the tip I think, and see how this bit works. Oh, that's come through really well. That's worked really, really well. And I think I need a different colour here as well. I'm going to put something green. Let's find something green. Here we go. This green leaf, I think. Got that just there. And that's coming through really well. It's a hydrangea leaf, so that's working really well. Making a lovely, colourful imprint. There we go. Now, you can carry on filling that space if you want to. You can make a pattern if you want to, a smiley face. You could try and writing something on a bigger piece, like my banner. Once you've done that, 
for the bunting at least, you need to join them together. So here's three that I've done earlier on. I've joined them together with the twine. All I've done with that really is just a snip with my scissors a very tiny hole in the corner like that I'm going to attach it to this one so that needs a tiny hole too and I'm going to use a twine the same size that I've used between the other pieces of bunting poke it up through the hole just do an, a granny knot is fine, nothing fancy. And then attach over here to the other side. And there you have it. Some colourful garden bunting made out of natural materials that you can find in your own garden or on a socially distant walk. Um, and I think that looks really lovely. So, if you've got any questions or comments, please put them in the section below. I'd love to see what kind of things you make too, so if you've got any photos, you can put those below too. Okay, thanks. Bye.